welcome back everyone for some more Mario around the Mario Maker World series for Super Mario Maker 2. And today I'm going to be p dedicating this video to Super Mario Bros. 3. Now I believe this is like, I think this is number 5 in my Super Mario Bros. 3 hype series. And it just feels like it's been overdue since I did a video dedicated to Mario Bros. 3. So without further ado, hopefully you guys have a good day today. And we start off with this one by J Meister from the US and this is... Halloween Special Trick or Treat. It's a standard theme stage. Now, I know that Halloween's done and over with. It's about a couple weeks ago that Halloween happened, but I just figured, you know what? Let's give this one a shot since it is at Mario Brothers 3 stage, and it's for Halloween that, uh, slash my birthday. Comments on for story level. And there's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. I'm going to do like I did before. I'm going to play half the stage as Toad and I'm going to do the other half as Toadette. And this will be about a half an hour long video. Okay, it looks like we're going to be going in these houses here. Well, maybe not that one. Let's go to this one. Looks like we're getting all the goodies in these houses. Stop at the Wiggler's house. I mm. think we're supposed to go down here. Hopefully the last coin will be here. Okay, let's go in here. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. Oh! Oh, come on! Okay, there we go. Probably could have jumped over that. Darn it. Yeah, I, lo I lost my, my, my uh, mushroom unnecessarily there. Which I'm not real happy about that. But anyway, we're going we're gonna go in here. Yeah, I can't believe- I could have just- instead of wasting time there, I could have just jumped over that muncher stack. But pretty interesting first level, I like it. So I'm gonna give it a heart. And on to the next. And we'll play this one by Sir Matt from the US, and this is Castle of Doom. It's a standard boss battle, and there's no description, unfortunately. But there's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Kind of concerns me that uh, whenever I re uh, encounter a level and there's no description in it, that worries me a bit. Well, okay. Let's go up here. But yeah, I'm excited. A couple days from now, I'm gonna be, uh, premiering. Well, not premiering. I mean, I mean, I could have it as a premiere, but, uh... But, uh, I'm gonna be doing Final Fantasy Remake, my, my first episode of that series on Saturday, which is my birthday, and I can't wait for that. I might, I might have another video for Saturday, maybe like another Mario Maker just to celebrate my birthday, but 
I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Hey there, Junior Red Ender. Please give me another tail. Whatever. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to be big today. Oh, and apparently, I wasn't supposed to live today. Okay, that was absolutely careless on my part. Gotta be careful. Hope that oh oh come on. Whatever. I apparently I'm not supposed to be big today. I don't know what the story with that is, but it's kind of driving me nuts. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, come on! I just cannot stay big today! Okay? Yeah, I can't reach that. Gosh darn it! My objective today is to at least finish one level today as bi as big, either Toad or Toadette, as b either one of them, but big. But anyway, I'm gonna give that. Well, that was a good level, even though I sucked at it. Okay, let's let's try this one. It's by Zakuri from the U.S. and this is Morning Midnight by a Seven Year Old. It's a theme stage, and it's my seven year old friend made this. Hope you enjoy. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play this. Now, I'm not going to get too mad if this ends up being an absolute mess considering a seven-year-old made it, but who knows? It might actually be pretty good, so... Okay, wow. Wow. Oh, no! Oh, come on! I did all of that just to get killed by Koopa. Oh, come on! I can't play this game today! Of course, anybody that watched my Pac-Mania video yesterday knows that I couldn't play that game yesterday either. I just can't play video games, it seems, recently. I don't know what the story with that is. Can't play that game, I can't play this game. Okay, okay I'm, I'm not even gonna do anything cute, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this. Three, le three straight levels where I'm not able to finish as a big toad, which... To be fair, there were no power-ups here, so... Okay... Hmm... Might actually be a good idea for a new Super World, um, playthrough. And I like his me, I, I think he looks kinda cute. Uh... I, I might go back to this one since it's Toadette, and I'll play that one as Toadette. But I do want to play this Japanese level, and it's Halloween 1978. Which, for those of you that don't know, the original Halloween movie came... I thought it came out in 77, not 78. Because I think it came out when my mom was a senior in high school, and that was in 77. I could be wrong about that, but... Anyway, this is a boss battle single player stage, and it's I Know What You Did Last Halloween. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Nice. Okay, can I keep my mushroom this time?
Okay, now what? Oh. What? Ah, oh, come on. Oh my god. Okay, what am I jumping into over here? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the dry bones moves over me. Okay, let's see what we have here. I need a key somewhere. Yeah, I need a key somewhere. And I, I'm not sure if I have the patience to look for a key. Oh, there's a key. Okay, there's a key right there. Okay. Now I can go back. Okay, checkpoint. Whoa, okay. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to- What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do?
Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, come on! I'm very confused what I'm supposed to do here. I, I'm, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Yep. Yeah. Well, I pretty much lost my patience with that stage. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna go with Toadette. I was not able to complete a single level as Toad as with a with a power up. Let's try Toadette. And this is by Ferret from the U.S. And this is Toadette's Travels Boxcar Boogie. It's a music art stage, and it's Toadette. So, ha half sees her cigarette and rises at, as the end train rolls up. Come and ride it. Okay. I tell you, I'm not gonna like that course, so forget that. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one by Holiday B from Canada, and this is Midnight Cathedral. It's a standard puzzle solving stage, and it solved the puzzles to escape the cathedral. Okay. There's the course ID in case you guys wanna play this. I just wanna finish one level with a power up. Okay. Uh. Oh, there we go. Drop down. Oh, they want me to go. Okay, please do not lose this. I'm pretty much saying that to myself. Oh, come on! Well, yeah, that's gonna be force damage. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to finish one in here, either. Come on! I just wanna finish one level with a power-up. Is that gonna be possible? to do this one. There we go. Oh, they want me to... They want me to do that. So I can go through here. Oh, force damage. Of course there is.
Okay. Now what? Oh. I see. Nice. Force damage, because of course there is. Oh, there we go. Night. Oh. And there we go! I managed to finish one level as Big Toad or Toadette. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish with Big Toad, but at least I can say that I finished one as Big Toadette, so... But that wasn't too bad of a level. I mean, they were, I mean, as you can see, I pretty much solved all the, bu the puzzles on my own. It really didn't take all that long. But, um... Yeah, I like that stage. And now let's try this one by Momioki from the US, and this is called Just Frogger. It's a themed single-player stage, and it's here's a twist of the arcade classic Frogger. Have fun. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. I think I have time to play this level and maybe another one. Reach the goal as Frog Mario. So I have no choice but to finish with a power up here. Which is good, because... Um... Wouldn't have been able to... Oh my god! Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a thing. Holy crap! Ah, oh, of course you would do that. Yeah, this level's not gonna be irritating or anything. Oh, of course I would. Wow! How many more frog suits are there? Surely can't be a whole lot. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. Nice! I did it! Wow, you really had to have RNG and that on your side for that level. Normally, I would complain about a level like that, but if you're playing the actual Frogger game, you do have to depend on RNG, so I do have to be a little bit fair here. I did like this level a lot, so that's why I'm going to give it a heart. Very, very good concept. But yeah, like in the, in the actual Frogger game, you have to have a lot of things go your way, and on that level, you have to have a lot of things go your way, so... For me to critique the level because of RNG and uh, enemy placement and that would just be unfair in my opinion, so... Yeah, I really like that stage. Um, let's go to this one by Molly from the US and it says, Thank you all for a thousand likes. It's a speed run and it's for all my Super Mario Maker 2 friends and for everyone who helped me to get... Who helped me get to here. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play this. Let's try this one out. I'm not really fond of speedrun levels, but we'll check it out. Reach the goal after grabbing at least 450 coins.
I don't know how tight the timer is. Okay, we already reached our, our goal of, um... Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. So that's how you get rid of them. Okay. A pretty cool level. I'm liking this level so far. But yeah, I'm getting well over the requirement of 450 coins. Okay, they want me to go up. Oh. This is probably going to be my last level, come to think of it. I'm getting close to about a half hour mark, and unless something crazy happens, I do think I am going to uh, finish this with, um, or at least some kind of power up. And I don't even need to fire, because I can just use my spiny helmet. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my fire anyway. That is a lot of coins. I wonder what the I wonder what the limit of uh, how many coins you can do in, in a level when you make a level. Let me see if I can get past a thousand. I don't think I'm gonna quite get there, unfortunately. Maybe I will, I don't know. Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, and it maxes out at $9.99. Okay. That's what I kind of thought, but I wasn't sure. So I maxed out the coin count. Oh. And there we go. And yeah, we're going to finish at exactly a half an hour mark, as I can see that I'm recording right now. But I think that's a good level to end off on. And Molly, I'm going to give you another like, because that was a pretty awesome level. I mean, it wasn't anything too difficult, but it was just... It was just a nice level to just sit back and just enjoy, collect all the coins, and deal with the enemies, which really wasn't all that hard to deal with at all. It was just a really fun level, and an excellent one to end things off on, but, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Yes, I, di I did skip a couple levels just because I wasn't in the mood to do them, but... All in all, the levels in here weren't too bad, and hopefully you guys give each of these levels a shot, and if you want to, you can leave a comment below on what you thought about a particular level or all these levels in, uh, as a whole, but, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.